then we've got investment. This would be um, both businesses and consumers. And as businesses and consumers do these things, um, what we're saying here is that they are um, engaged in things for businesses, businesses by machines, they buy buildings, and they invest in inventory. Inventory meaning that they buy stuff that they haven't exactly sold yet. And consumers, they buy houses. And that's part of investment. So it's very important to note here that houses that consumers buy are an investment. Now, in investment, we are not talking about stocks or bonds or things that we typically think of as um, investments. That's not what's included here. Then, we've got government spending. In our economy, that's about 18%. And this would be government, both federal, state, and even local. So all three. Federal, state, local spending on goods and services. That would mean the government building a road, the government um, paying for me to go to the doctor, right, and paying for the medical care, um, the government paying the salaries of the teachers who teach kids in grade school. All of that would be, right, or national defense would be a big chunk of government spending. All of that represents the government spending money. Now, as we'll see here in a little bit, that does not include money I get from the government um, for meeting certain criteria, right? So, for instance, the government gives money to people if they're blind, right? Because, you know, it sucks to be blind, right? And you get a little bit of money to, you know, buy the extra things that you need because you are blind, right? Um, it's a disability on some level, right? And we um, try to help people who have disabilities, now, the government may pay for health care and other things that I, as a blind person, need, but what we're also saying is that if the government just gives me $200 a month for being blind, um, that $200 does not count in the GDP because the government's not buying me something there. It's just giving me money. Um, and just giving me money does not count as government spending. And then finally, we have net exports. In the case of the U.S. economy, that's about negative 3%. Here, we are talking about exports minus imports. Exports, that's what we sell to the rest of the world. Imports, that's what we buy from the rest of the world. And right now, basically, we are buying more from the rest of the world than we are selling to the rest of the world. So the net result is a negative 3%. But if you add up all the numbers, we should get approximately, hopefully, um, 100%. In video number three, which is the next video, I'll be elaborating on that a little bit further.